Meanwhile, Council Member De Leon says he will stay on the council in spite of the fact that all of his colleagues, every city and county leader who's gone on the record and that growing chorus of his constituents want him out. He has been making the rounds, giving interviews in Spanish and English, expressing how sorry he is for the now infamous audio recording that is rocking the city. Are you hoping this will help you stay on as a member of the council? No, because this is this ultimately, it's, it's not about me. It, it ultimately, it's about the voice of my constituents for CD14, a district that for decades, if not for generations, has been historically marginalized for a whole variety of reasons. Uh, if I were to stop, then they'd have no voice uh, in city. Let me Hall. stop you there. They'd have no voice. Are, are you saying that you're the only person who can represent them? Couldn't no. there not be someone else who could step in and fill your shoes and, and, and uh, the people of your district? I'm not the only one who can represent them, and I know that, you know. But if a caretaker were to replace me, if I were to say, then they would have no vote, vote in City Hall. Uh, that's just the bottom line. This is a district that has been under uh, underrepresented. It's a district that has been undersourced. It's a district that has been underfinanced. In that moment of that meeting that we're talking about today, I felt in that moment. All right, you refer to it as a moment. You keep using the term moment. Are you saying that in, in, in no other circumstances, in no other situation, have you failed in that way? No, in no other circumstances. I, I failed up when they were, you know, uh, disparaging, you know, our Oaxacan community. It's a, a community that I love dearly, that I've always stepped up for uh, to protect the various dialects, uh, the various indigenous groups within the Oaxacan community, Mixtecos, Zapotecos. I've always stepped up at that moment, you know, you couldn't see it, you know, but I had a, a very disparaging look on my face, you know, but I should have verbalized my, my, my opposition to what was being said. You're a 55-year-old man. You have been one of the most powerful Latino politicians, one of the most powerful politicians of any ethnic group in the state of California for a long time, not just the city. And for you to not step up and lead in that point, and a lot of, I think a lot of people would find incredulous. This was a meeting called by the president, then president of the city council. Mm -hmm. I'm not the president. I wasn't the leader. I didn't convene uh, that meeting. I was asked to participate in the meeting, and I in the meeting as a representative of my district on the issue. Thing. But, you have, but you, yeah. have, you have the chops. You have, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I you're know an experienced you're yes, yeah. servant of the public. You're not just somebody who's just fresh, you know, freshly on the council. You've been around a long time. And you have a voice as well. So why, why did you not use it in that moment? I, I should have, and I failed to do this. So, you know, Mark, I, I failed, and for that, I, I'm deeply ashamed. Something that's not captured uh, on audio is my facial gestures during the meeting. That's not captured, you know, unfortunately, sadly, but that is the reality that I'm dealing with right now. What would make you step down? Mark, ultimately, my constituents elected me. And it, the, the choice of my constituents, if their decision that I move forward and step down, then I'll accept it. The council can't even meet in person if you are there because of protesters and demonstrators. You've got people who don't want you specifically, uh, people who don't want to uh, conduct business before the council unless you and Gilbert Cedillo uh, are, are gone. How are you going to get any work done? I have to work. I've taken a leave of trust right now. I, I'm, I'm trying to do the hard work to regain the trust of my colleagues, to regain the trust of various members of our African American community, of our Oaxacan community, of the communities as, as a whole. I'm doing that hard work. It, it, what does know, that it's mean? It's the work that I have. It means atonement. It's meaning having the conversations. It's meaning not just saying, I am profoundly sorry. It's also meaning, you know, what do I need to do to the perspective, to the eyes of others, to tone, to reaffirm my solid commitment that's always been solid, you know, to communities of color. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.